Hey guys, um, this is uh, going to be about uh, magic tractor paint that they sell at the, the tractor supply company. And uh, I read a lot of bad things about this when I first started to look for a cheap paint to paint my car with. And uh, this was, the price was right and uh, they carried the color that I wanted which is a flat camo desert tan but all the videos I watched uh, I saw a lot of bad reviews on it that it doesn't dry and etc etc it lays on great um, but a lot of people had complaints about it not drying and taking too long to dry and staying soft so I went ahead and did it anyways and uh, I painted my little uh, my little geo tracker here and it's going to be a camouflage digital camouflage but it looks good it laid on good this is the second coat that's on here right now and uh, as per instructions very important you got to let it dry at least 24 hours between coats uh, my first coat that I did I did a scratch test and uh, it uh, went pretty good this is the second coat right here and it hasn't been quite 24 hours yet and still a little soft but after my first coat I did a scratch test a nail scratch test and it, uh, it was pretty hard so today's gonna be my third coat that I'm gonna do on it and uh, we'll see how it goes here's the top But anyways, uh, what I what I mixed, I used a hardener. I used two ounces of this. I used um, eight ounces of uh, this here painter solvent. We're in California, so they don't sell xylene or mac or toluene or any of that that naphtha, but they do sell this stuff. And it's supposed to replace all these other things. So I used this to thin it, eight ounces. I used two ounces of the hardener, the tractor, uh, magic tractor or paint uh, hardener. And of course, I used uh, one quart of this with, with, that, with that mix. Mixed it up real well, strained it, put it in my uh, HDLP gun and sprayed it out. But so far so good and uh it seems like it's drying pretty good you got to give it the 24 hours minimum and thin coats do light coats uh they recommend no thicker than three three mil i think <coughs> but uh it's it's a thick paint uh it's got a lot of solids in it so it takes a bit to dry and so you got to do three coats 24 hours in between coats make sure you do that because if you don't this stuff's gonna take forever to dry like I said I'm not done I'm doing my final coat today uh, I'm gonna do it start at 1 o'clock so uh, and then they, they also said it could take you know seven to ten days to completely cure it's dry to the touch real quick but for it to completely cure and get hard it, it takes a bit so I will uh, if I remember I will update and let you know what happens all right, guys, thanks for uh, watching, and uh, hopefully this works out because if it, it's a great paint, and if, if it does work out, it'll be good. Um, I know there's a few videos out there of a guy who painted his truck, and uh, his stuff just stayed, stayed soft for weeks and weeks and weeks, and he was all upset about it, but it seemed like a younger guy, and I'm guessing he wasn't patient enough to wait the 24 hours between coats and I'm guessing maybe he didn't do thin enough coats and uh, that might be his problem but you know maybe he did it right maybe he just got a bad ba batch of paint I don't know okay so here it is third coat of paint is done I put this third one on just a little heavier 
than the prior two. Like I said, with Magic Tractor Paint, uh, three coats, 24 hours between coat, and do the coats lightly. And make sure you wait, be patient. So far, it seems like it's curing pretty good. And uh, hopefully it'll continue to cure. And I'm hoping within seven to 10 days, it's uh, rock hard. Just like these paints are supposed to be. Okay, I'll give you an update. I'm gonna let this thing cure while I put the trims back on and whatnot. And I'll let it cure for about two weeks probably, just to be sure. And then I'm gonna put uh, digital camo all over this thing. Little desert pickle wagon. All right, guys, keep you posted. Okay, so we got uh, day three, third coat. Um, looking good. This is Magic Tractor Paint, sold at uh, Tractor Supply Company. A lot of complaints about it not drying right. But uh, I still have, I don't know, about four or five hours till, till my 24 hour uh, wait time and I do a scratch test. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit uh, soft yet, but it hasn't been the full 24 hours. Plus they also say that it could take seven to 10 days to completely cure. So in the meantime, I'm uh, cleaning, sanding, and spraying my wheels, which I hate freaking doing. Hate taping, hate prepping. I don't mind the spraying part, hate the, hate the prep part. But anyways, that's about it. Uh, the uh, Magic Tractor Paint is pretty damn good if you follow the instructions. They tell you to do uh, three light coats, no more than three mil, and uh, wait 24 hours between coats, and you should be good. So I will let you know in a few days what it's like if it's gotten any harder or not anyways by the way this is a chevy geo tracker it's the same exact thing uh, it's just a renamed uh, suzuki sidekick this is a 1992 four cylinder this is an automatic four wheel drive and uh it's gonna be my little uh desert desert toy my little desert pickle wagon drive around with the air conditioning and desert and have a couple beers watch the races etc etc and I could probably use it for uh, dove hunting when I go dove hunting not that I need it but it'll be fun all right I'll keep you uh, updated as soon as we see if this stuff cures well okay uh, today's the July 1st uh, my last coat of my third coat of paint uh, was a uh, on June 28th and uh, so about three or four days and uh, I did thin coats three of them and this is what I came out with so anyways I did a nail scratch test I don't know if you could see or not but um, and I'll do it right here. Um, but it leaves a little streak. Of course, it's a matte, so and a flat color. But it's not soft. It's pretty hard. And uh, it's not like peeling off or anything. It's not soft. It's only been three days. I said it could take seven to ten days to completely get hard. So uh, I'm going with. I'm going with uh, that if you spray this paint correctly, you get a pretty good, uh, pretty good paint. Follow the instructions, and uh, and it should come out okay. So I'm gonna give Magic Tractor Paint from Tractor Supply Company uh, a thumbs up, and I will probably use it again. 
all right guys thanks for watching uh and that's about it fourth of july is coming up in a couple days and that's what i'm going to drive around eventually i'm going to put digital camo all over it so it'll look a lot cooler little fun toy little tonka toy all right guys bye